We've entitled our last segment of the show, Caution Kids at Play. The rookies of the year announced in the American League. No surprise that it's Mike Trout of the Angels. Uh, got all 28 first place votes ahead of Yuenis Espedes and Yu Darvish. And when you watched him, Tyler, he came up. He joined a stagnant team and electrified him. He really did. And, and, and I went out there in, in June. Uh, to see him and just in watching him intently for two games he does so many things uh, that just you know stand out in the course of a game because look at all those skills he has I mean every every skill that you would want in a baseball player he has and you don't see a guy that size who moves like that in baseball people compared him to Bo Jackson or, or the old timers to, to Mickey Mantle he just you don't see guys who are that big who move that fast and who do the combination of things that he does it's it's a it's a it's a thrill to watch him play there were times that I would get home from doing one of our games and watch the West Coast package uh, of the Major League Baseball package you'd flip around and when you saw him coming up to the plate you know I'd stop I'd want to watch yeah you know what excites me Bob is Trout Manny Machado Jerickson pro far there were very very young players who came into the game this year who put their calling card down mm -hmm. and I think are going to be exciting really high level players 19 20 years old excelling in the major leagues and I thought the other interesting thing as the graphic showed is Suspedis Darvish coming from other countries mm -hmm. Wei Yin Chin who finished fourth in the voting right came from the Far East the game is getting talent from all over it's better for our game right to have this amount of talent young and foreign it's going to get from high school from junior colleges in the case of Bryce Harper who joined the Washington Washington Nationals and he was voted the National League Rookie of the Year. Now, not a unanimous winner. 16 first place votes. Wade Miley, who pitched for the Diamondbacks, 12 first place votes. So this one, Tyler, obviously a lot closer, but Harper had that same kind of sizzle factor that Mike Trout had. Yeah, he, he really did. I mean, he, he went through some dips a, a little bit over the season, but clearly he's, he's the best pro, you know, going forward of these guys. Miley had a terrific year. Um, it, it's as the Yankees have, have, have shown, it's not easy to develop these starters who can be relied on every start like Miley was. But boy, you know, you see all the things that Harper can do on the field. He's a, he's a heck of an exciting player, too. And Joel, this speaks to your point. He was just supposed to come up for about two, three weeks and they couldn't get rid of him. Yeah, you know, he's also a teenager like Machado, like Profar, like Trout. It's really exciting. And I think one thing to keep in mind, he is a guy who came up as opposed to Trout with a ton of pressure. Right. We knew a lot about him. He was in some ways like a college football player who wins the Heisman or a college basketball player we see in the Final Four. We've been tracking him since early high school years. He was expected to be great, Mickey Mantle comparisons. He's going to have huge power. And he came up. Did he have as good a year as Trout? He didn't. Mike Trout was good enough where he might win the MVP later in the week. He had a unique rookie year. But that was quite a calling card that, uh, that Harper put down about who he's going to be for the rest of his career. Pretty impressive with the pressure he had to honor the pedigree. Right, and the numbers compare very close to Ken Griffey Jr. too at the same age. Both number one overall pick. Quick final thought. R.A. Dickey could win the National League Cy Young later this week. Amazing that this week Jolie asked to answer questions. Do you think he'll be traded? I think the Mets are seriously considering it because he's probably not part of their long-term best rotation.